In today's video, we are going to talk about Arteza colored pencils. So, I have a set of 72 colored pencils from Arteza and in today's video, I'm going to do a review of these pencils, show you a portrait that I've done as well as to tell you my honest opinion about these pencils. So these are wax base colored pencils, meaning they are creamy and they blend a bit more easily than oil based colored pencils. The lids of these pencils are quite thick, it says here they are 4 millimeters, meaning that they shouldn't be having any particular issues of breaking easily like some other pencils do. When you open them, you have a whole list of colored pencils inside the lid box, which is also quite cute. They are separated here in three trays and the color seems to be quite nice and vibrant from the first glance. What I really found cute when it comes to these colored pencils is their names. They have some very interesting and unusual names of these pencils, which I thought was very cute. All right, so. This is also the color chart. The color seems very vibrant and quite strong, which is important if you want to get some contrast and strong values. When it comes to the light fastness, you have the plus sign on each pencil and next to each color of their color chart, so you will know in advance which colors are durable and which colors might be less durable. Anyways, let's get straight into the drawing and as I'm showing you the process creating this portrait, I will tell you all you need to know about these pencils. Now, I didn't want to show basic gradients here like everyone else was doing while making a review on these pencils, as I think that it's not something that can actually and exactly show the ability of these pencils or any pencils in general. So those are all just basic colors that can be blended in a very similar way, no matter the brand or if it's wax-based pencil or oil-based. I wanted to show you what they can do on an actual example, such as this portrait. I think that only like this you will be able to see the true abilities of each pencil brand, so I always like to draw something concrete so I can compare later on with different brands. So I was working with Prisma colored, colored pencils a lot. I have to say that even though these brands are both wax based, still no wax pencil can beat the Prisma color creaminess yet. Which again, it doesn't mean that these pencils are not worth it. While working with them, I had a similar feeling like I had with Holbein colored pencils. Like they are somewhere in between wax and oil based, which to be honest is something really amazing and so different. Now what I was missing in this set, which again, maybe they have larger choice in the bigger set, was more of these earthy beige tones. I got used to working with a bit different colors for the skin, but anyways, even so, I managed to get some really nice results. You can always combine few colors and burnish them in between to get some nice shadows and values. So this really shouldn't be an issue in this set when it comes to this. All you have to do is simply get used to what you have in the set and that's pretty much it. Take your time to get to know each and every color and after a while you will know exactly what to use to get some good skin tones. I would just like to add here that this video is not sponsored by Arteza, so whatever I say here is truly and honestly my opinion about these pencils. Alright, so I was combining quite a few of them here to create a skin tone and once I was happy with it, I used Prismacolor Premier Colorless Blender to burnish the pencils so the texture won't be seen as I wasn't able to get the desired tones just by burnishing pencils themselves and in between, I had to use some extra help to get what I wanted. But anyways, overall I think they are amazing and that no matter the way you use to get the results that you want, as long as it turns out good and you're happy with it, that's all that matters. The way how they were blending was really amazing. I also love the fact that none of the pencils were breaking in the, like, in the process, which to be honest they shouldn't at all, unless you order them online and they treat your package badly, throw it around or something. So you end up with already broken pencils. Otherwise, these pencils shouldn't break as the lids are quite thick. I think that this set is more than enough for you to practice drawing with colored pencils. They are really easy to use. They're also affordable. This set costs around $40 comparing to other, let's say, popular brands that cost much more than this. And I think that this is a like really nice price for the set like this. You get more than enough colors to start practicing. And if you are a beginner, you will definitely enjoy working with these colored pencils. I sure did. 
So if you are wondering if the set is going to be enough for you to start practicing, I can tell you straight away, it will definitely be more than enough. One thing to keep in mind, and that is not just for like these pencils, but for every set that you decide to go with, color chart is something you should make as soon as you get the set of colored pencils and open it. This will save you so much time and so much energy to choose between pencils as based on the color chart you will be able to decide straight away even before you start working on your drawing what pencils you will use for each drawing. Now I cannot tell you how important that is. Um, I always but really always have my color chart next to me before and during my drawing process. As with the color chart I can compare the values on the reference photo with the colors that I have on my color chart. So no matter the brand, I always create a cute little color chart that will stay next to you through every drawing of yours. So you can see by now that I was able to get such cute drawing. Of course, for this particular drawing, I got so inspired by Niani. I somehow always end up drawing her. She is an endless inspiration for me. Her photos, her looks, face expression. She is the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen in my life for sure. So if you don't know what to draw and you feel uninspired or anything like it, just go to Google, Pinterest, Instagram and search for some Niani photos. You will immediately be inspired by her beauty and uniqueness. So let's put it all together. These pencils are definitely something that you could use for starting to draw with colored pencils or you want to dive into drawing portraits. They're more than enough as they are quite affordable as well to use them and practice with them. The lids are quite thick comparing to some other brands. So this will ensure that your pencils will not break, but even if they do, this will happen much less for sure. The feeling while drawing with them is so nice. The colors are really vibrant and nice. The only thing I would wish is maybe to have a few more of these earthy tones but they have these in 120 set, I'm sure. So if you can afford it, add extra $30 to invest in your pencils as the largest set costs about $70. Maybe that's a better choice. Um, as you as a beginner will definitely have more options to choose from. Just make sure to create a color chart before you start using them as you will have more control over what pencils you will use before you even start working on a drawing. I have to say I really enjoyed working on this portrait with these pencils. They are definitely something that I will use more in the future for my drawings. They blend really nice. The color choices here are very good, so I think that Arteza did a very good job with these pencils for sure. This is the final result. Kindly let me know what do you think about this drawing. Also kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video. Make sure to see more of my videos here on my YouTube channel. If you want to become a member to my channel, kindly find the join button here and you will get access to my real-time drawing tutorials here on YouTube and many more cute stuff here. I would like to say thank you to my patrons and my members here on YouTube as well. You're helping me and making my dream come true. So truly thank you for that, of course, to everyone else as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I see you soon in another one. Much love guys, bye bye.